Hey everyone, welcome to Screen Connect, also known as ConnectWise Control. If you've been looking for a way to remotely manage devices or troubleshoot issues with ease, this platform has you covered. In this tutorial, we will walk through the key features, starting with the access section and moving on to admin, and wrapping up with some pro tips. Stick around and by the end of the video, you'll feel confident navigating Screen Connect. So let's get started. Now, when you first sign in to Screen Connect, usually the link would be cloud.screenconnect.com. Now, you're going to see your instance over here. This is your account, so you're just going to want to tap on this blue link right here, and it's going to take you to the main Screen Connect section or the Screen Connect website. As you can see on this side, there are two buttons access and admin. Let's start with the access section. This is where you can manage machines and establish remote connections. When you log in, you'll notice several buttons and features. So this blue button, the build button, is at the top of the page. This is one of the most important tools in Screen Connect. So what does it do? The build button allows you to create installers for your machines you want to connect to. Think of it like setting up a gateway. You'll generate a small file that you can send to the machine you want to manage, and once installed, that machine becomes accessible for remote troubleshooting or monitoring. So, how do you use it? Let's tap on Build, and now it's going to ask us these things. The machine name, company, site, department, device type, and the type, like Windows, Mac, Linux. So basically, you're just going to want to choose the options or type them out, like so, and either send link, copy URL, or download. As you can see, it says build an installer to deploy remote machines and permanently install the access agent. After installation, the agent will appear in the access section. Label your machines using the following fields and pick your installer type. So once you label these, it's going to appear here. All machines by company. You could join, edit, run tool, and more. But as you can see, I don't really have a machine yet because I don't have anything to put here. So you're just gonna have to do that and basically, there you can edit your machine, and once it's installed, the machine will appear in your list of connected devices, which is over here. Either all machines by company, OS, updated clients, host connected, guest connected, recently accessed, or offline. Now, as you can see at the bottom of the page, there is an option called Create a Session Group. What is a session group? These are organizational tools that let you group machines together. For example, you can create separate groups for personal devices, work machines, devices by clients or departments. So how do you create one? Well, it's simple. Just simply tap on this and basically type in a name and the session filter. You could even add subgroup expressions. But once we tap on create, as you can see, this is a session group. Now you can drag your machines into here and basically sort them out. So the whole point of a session group is to sort things out. These are all session groups, as you can see, where you can sort out your machines. This feature is super helpful for keeping your workspace clean and organized, especially if you're managing a large number of devices. Now on to section 2, which is right here, Admin. This is where you'll find tools to customize your screen connect and manage account level settings. Let's break it down button by button. Overview. The Overview tab gives you a bird's eye view of your account. Here you can view the status check, security settings, and your database plan. For security settings, you have internal users, revoked access, basically everything in your overview is just the statistics of your account right now. Under extensions, these are add-ons or plugins that expand Screen Connect's functionality. What can you do here? Well, you can browse the extension library over here. As you can see, there are already installed extensions automatically. You could even tap on Browse Extension Marketplace where you can get these tools to help you do things, do different things. For example, Advanced Configuration Editor, Cloud Authentication, In-Application Help, and way more under the Marketplace. You could even check for updates so that you could have your extensions up to date. If you're looking for specific features like integration with a help desk system, this is where to find it. Let's tap on Security. Based on its name, it's critical for protecting your account and client data. The key features are setting up multi-factor authentication or MFA for extra security and managing user roles 
and permissions to ensure team members only have access to what they need. As you can see, there's roles and you could even revoke access to other people. For mail, this is where you can configure email notifications. For example, you can set up alerts to notify you when a session starts or when a session ends. And you could even tap on edit mail configuration. And now under audit, this is your activity log. Tap on query audit log. And there you go, it's right here. This is all of the activity that has been happening around your screen connect. Under advanced, this gives you a granular control over your account. You have quick settings, other settings, bitmap settings, view sound and messages, essentials, all of these different things where you can tap on them and I'm pretty sure they have this help section where you can figure out what these buttons do. Now for reports, this provides you detailed analytics. As you can see, there you go. You can run, edit, delete, or clone your reports, or you could even create your own reports. You can generate reports on session duration, user activity, and more. These reports are great for building clients or reviewing team performance. All right, so we've gone through the main features of ScreenConnect.com. So let's take a moment to recap what we've learned and why this platform is such a powerful tool. Whether you're managing a small IT operation or working a larger business, Screen Connect has tools that you can significantly improve your workflow. So let's have a recap of the features. Let's start by summarizing the two main sections we covered. The Access section. This section is the heart of Screen Connect. There's a Build button where we learned how the Build button helps create installers for machines. This is a crucial step in setting up remote access. And imagine being an IT admin who needs to troubleshoot a problem for a remote employee. Imagine being an IT admin who needs to troubleshoot a problem for a remote employee. Having this installer ready means you can connect it in just a few minutes, no matter where the machine is located. In session groups, which is right below, organization is key, especially when managing multiple clients or departments. By creating session groups, you can streamline your workspace and quickly find the machine you need. For example, if you're an IT manager working with three companies, you can create a group for each company to make things neat and efficient. Or you could have one set for a certain action and another set for another action. Now under admin section, this is where you can have your tools to customize and secure your experience. There's the overview tab, extensions, security features, and way more. So who can benefit from Screen Connect? Let's talk about who this platform is for and some real world examples of how it can be used. Number one. IT Professionals and Managed Service Providers or MSPs If you're an IT professional or work for a managed service provider, Screen Connect is basically your best friend. Imagine getting called from a client who says their computer is acting up. Instead of driving out to their location, you can send them the installer, connect remotely, and fix the issue in minutes. For MSPs, managing hundreds of devices tools, managing hundreds of devices, Tools like session groups and reports make it easy to track everything. Number two, businesses with remote employees. With remote work being the norm, businesses need reliable ways to support employees no matter where they are. If someone has trouble setting up a VPN, you can quickly connect it to them and configure it for them. Or if a team member's computer is running slow, you can run diagnostics remotely without disrupting their workflow. Number three, freelancers or consultants. Even if you're a one-person operation, Screen Connect can help you look more professional. For example, you could offer remote tech support as a service and use the reports feature to provide clients with detailed session summaries. And additional tips for using Screen Connect effectively, stay organized with naming convections, leverage reports for insights, train your team, and test before deploying. So why should you choose Screen Connect? It's easy to use, there's scalability, and there's security. And final thoughts before we wrap it up, I want to emphasize how much value Screen Connect brings to the table. It's not just a tool for remote access. It's a complete solution for managing devices, supporting clients, and improving your overall efficiency. If you're thinking about using Screen Connect, my advice is to start small. Set it up for a few machines, explore the features, and gradually expand as you get more comfortable. So that's pretty much it for Screen Connect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if the tutorial worked. And if you have more questions, just go ahead and open up ScreenConnect.com and I'm sure they will have a help system for you. Thank you and goodbye.